Hey guys, I'm back. So, yesterday I just lost my previous hardcore war. And now I'm starting a third one. So I'm gonna be efficient, get some wood, and hope this ends well. Unlike the first two. So I'm gonna be smart and actually get some stone tools. Oh, why am I lagging? Oh, this is horrible. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go over there for stone. This is, I think, a good spawn because a cave, plains, mountain over there. This is exactly what I need, and cheap. So I'm gonna be able to make a bed on the first day. Yeah, this is all that I need. I just need a village and then I'll be completely set. So I got stone tools and I'm currently taking innocent sheep's lives to make a bed. Yeah, no, nothing wrong with that, obviously. Just how Minecraft works. Um, there's a nice forest here. Might be able to get a lot of wood to make a base. Uh, I need to find a village first though if I can. Because that'll be essential for what I want to do. Why am I lagging so much? Damn. Oh, there's a lava pool. This will be perfect to make a nether portal. Because I don't want to be spending 20 minutes to mine obsidian. And what is this spawning? There's like 20 cows over here. So I got down into the cave. Definitely did not fall due to my lack of skill and lose half my health bar. Nah, that's for the weak. But I did start cooking food with the fuel I have. Not much. This is a lot of iron. It's gonna be perfect to make, well, first a shield and maybe a few tools or armor. So I'm gonna be set here and I can always come back to this cave because it is massive. There, I found gold over there, copper, a lot of it. Ooh, iron, more. I feel like the deep, oh. That was too close. Right, I'm not staying here much longer. I'm just mining the iron and getting the hell out of here. That was way too close. That's why I need a shield. So I got out of the hole, or the cave, and it just turned to nighttime. So I'm going to make a bed and sleep. I actually got, a, oh, I don't have wood. So I got 35 iron, a lot more than I thought I would get. I also got some lapis, because I thought that would be useful. And you can actually mine it with a stone pickaxe. I bet most people don't know that. So, making a bed. I also cooked a lot of food. And yeah, then I'm going to get going. So I think I have an idea. I'm going to go to the top of that mountain put my render distance to the max and then just start looking for a village so I haven't seen any yet but I haven't explored a lot either so honestly this is a perfect start the only thing I would need now is a village so let's see if I can get one so I reached the top it's really laggy because of my render distance right now but I don't see any on this side yet. Uh, there seems to be another small mountain over there. With tree. Yeah, not much. Uh, yeah, I'm really lagging right now. I'm gonna turn it down. Okay, so no village. But there is this spruce forest right here. That could be really helpful because I just genuinely 
Ah, sorry, I genuinely love spruce wood. It's my favorite. So I might come here like for like getting some wood for maybe trapdoors because I just love the trapdoors. But no village sadly. I'm gonna have to pass on that. I probably will be able to get villagers through the nether though. What I do, cause one block in the in the nether is worth eight in the overworld. Pillager outpost. Damn. That means there is probably a village right by. Holy. Alright, well I'm I'm gonna go exploring then. Alright, see you guys when I find something. So most of my iron has smelted, 24 of it. I'm making a shield, probably some armor and tools. Yeah, see you when I get to the outpost, probably. So I traveled pretty far. Oh, and trust me, when I say far, I mean like a couple thousand blocks. Yeah. And I all I found was a, a ruined nether portal. I got a cold block, a few things. Not that good though. So I guess I'm gonna head back and I will just get villagers from the nether probably. Yeah, this is gonna be a long ride back though. See when I get there. So I'm back at the pillager outpost. Uh, I'm gonna try to see how hard it really is to kill these things. But they really are as mad as reputation. I'm not gonna stay here for long. I'm not. Ooh, alleys! I forgot these were a thing. This is the first time I'm seeing these. So, actually, I'm not gonna free them yet, so that I, uh, so that I can come back to them later. Because I wanna like use them or something when I will be higher into the game. Because I don't think I have a purpose for them yet. I don't even have leads, so I can like tie them up and like keep them. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna unleash them later. And I'm gonna get away from this thing. I just genuinely hate pillagers. So I think now what I'm gonna do is build my base, and then I think that's all. It's gonna wrap up the episode. I don't want to do too much because then it's gonna be too long. Now that I have almost two stacks of wood, I'm gonna start building my base. And I don't know exactly where I want it, but I think I'm gonna do it next to, or at least close enough to the river that's over there. It's a really nice looking river, by the way. So I've looked at it and I've decided to build my base right here. It's a good spot, it's pretty flat. So I'm gonna start by laying down the foundations. So I know it's kind of classic because I have a rectangle here, but I think it'll do just fine. Sometimes classic is just better. And yeah, I'm, I'm putting the pillars four blocks tall. Uh, I think that's a good height. And see when the pillars are made. So I did the pillars. I'm also down half my heart bar because of that. I was jumping up and down that whole time. And so I don't think I'm gonna get the classic windows here. I'm gonna use fences, I think. So I'm about to do that. See when that's done. So I'm actually really liking this design. I put upside down stairs on the bottom. And 
I'm gonna complete the rest. See when that's done. So I just I just finished the walls, and I realized that this pattern here that I had before, I had two pillars in the middle like this. I feel like it would be too cramped for windows over here. So I just spaced the pillars out. And now I'm gonna do the floor, but I have no more wood, so I gotta cut down some more trees. So I guess another montage. <laughs> So I got a problem with the sound, so I kind of did a lot. I did the floor, the entrance, and I got a bunch of wood. So yeah, now I'm going to head on to the, the ceiling probably, and this is going to take a long time, so montage. <laughs> So I tried building like these types of windows and I don't think that really worked out. So I'm going to see what I can do to upgrade them. So it turns out I think I need a more vertical roof to make this type of window design. So I'm just going to keep my, um, my plan for the roof before because it might just look better. I'll be done in like no time right now. I honestly can't believe this. I was one slap short and I had to make another six for it. Well, anyways, the roof is done now. Enderman. No. It's raining. Oh, it's in my house. No. You gotta go, mister. Yep. Wait, there was a slab in my house this whole time? Oh my. I just wasted six wood. So I would say this day is successful. I just finished the house. I put leaves all around. I put these pots with plants in them. Lanterns. I would say the house looks pretty good. I will upgrade the. Uh, I will upgrade it though, because this is not the least it will have, but this is pretty good. I put a chest here, craft tables under, trap doors here. That's all my stuff pretty much. I will have a furnace area here to smelt stuff. This is my bed. Um, under these trap doors, I have barrels for extra, extra storing. And I'll probably put an enchanting table here, and this will be my storing area. So, hope you liked the video, guys. And I'll see you on the next time, hopefully soon.